Okay, so this is my new CNC machine I bought. Um, I got it about 10 days ago. It's the Gen Mitsu Prover XL 4030. And I thought I'd just do a little quick review video. Um, I haven't seen too many uh, videos online about this machine. So, and uh, I was looking for a CNC machine and I wanted something kind of mid-range. It wasn't like some of the small 3018 machines, but also you know, not like some of the larger machines because I don't have, uh, you know, quite the space to, to spare. I'm operating out of a little one-car garage workshop. So and then I saw this machine online and uh, decided to give it a try. So again, I got it about 10 days ago, and I've been using it every day since, making just uh, little small test projects to see what the machine can do because I'm new to the CNC world. Um, it's a good quality machine. Um, Good quality heavy duty parts, um, no issues with it. Um, the instruction booklet to put it together was uh, was pretty good. Had a lot of information in it, photographs and just text information on you know how to put each part into the machine together. And there was only basically two big parts, which was the base and the gantry. And uh, but you also had to put the stepper motors on. But other than that, um, you know there wasn't a lot to put together. Uh, not like some of the machines that are just uh, every part is separate and you need to uh, build it um, from scratch more or less. So I thought this is a pretty good machine. And uh, it has a 400 by 300 millimeter working area. And the overall footprint is about 2 foot by 2 foot, maybe a little more uh, with the stepper motors on the back. And um, so it's a good desktop machine, doesn't take up a whole lot of space. And... Um, you know, it's a good, uh, I'd say, intermediate size, uh, mid-range size machine as far as price and just the overall footprint and uh, as far as its capabilities. So, um, again, I've been using it for about 10 days. I haven't had any issues with it, and it seems like their customer support is uh, pretty good from from looking at the same smart website. Uh, you know, I think uh, you shouldn't have any problems uh, with it, but if you do, it's good to know that... Uh, you know they'll support the product from what I could tell and uh, just so you know I purchased this product on my own uh, no one's sponsoring a video and I didn't get this uh, you know no one sent this to me to review so um, I was looking for a CNC machine and um, again I didn't see uh, many reviews on this machine so I just uh, wanted to uh, put something out there for someone else uh, who's like myself, again, is new to the CNC world and was looking for something, uh, maybe this will be an option for you if uh, you don't want to go to the the big scale of the X-Cards and Shapocos and some of the other ones um, as far as even cost goes on those machines. Um, this is less than half the price of one of those machines. So, uh, and but if you didn't want one of the small, tiny ones, so like the 3018, maybe this one would be a good option for someone so I'm pretty happy with it since I got it like I said no issues with it at all and uh, it performs pretty well and uh, you know hopefully it'll uh, it'll stay that way and uh, from what I can tell on the Sane Smart website they're going to be coming out with some accessories like a larger uh, rail system to, to make it like a thousand by a thousand millimeters so you could you know make larger projects like some of the larger CNC machines and also I think a laser module attachment and some other things so you know it'll be a good uh, good machine that you can expand with as far as capabilities and uh, different options that you would want to do instead of buying two or three different types of machines this machine in the future looks like it uh, could be like an all-in-one option uh, like some of the other smaller um, CNC machines that both do a laser and CNC operations. So um, I hope this helps anybody that may be looking for a CNC machine. Uh, like I said, I haven't seen too many reviews on this machine. I think maybe one or two at the most. And uh, just thought I'd put my opinion out there um, that maybe can help someone. So if you enjoyed the video and thought it was helpful, hit the like button. Also, if you want to hit the subscribe button, um, that way you can tell when uh, when I'm going to be posting some videos of some of the projects because I plan on using it quite a bit, just making different things. And um, so that way you'll know when those videos are up. 
So uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.